so you're happy you're never gonna have? Well, you know, when you when a woman pictures having a baby, you know, I think the biggest scare is the actual birth and having to push and you know go through that agony and all that work and it can be, it could last five minutes or it could last you know three days and I think I, I never had to go through that because with Stevie I had an emergency c-section which made me really sad at the moment but now looking back at it you know I had it easy I didn't have to do any work why did it make you sad at the moment um I wanted to know that if we didn't have all the medical science that we have now that I'd be able to have my, you know, take care of my baby and give birth to him or her. Um, it made me really sad that I had to stop breastfeeding and when he was three months old. Meander was upset too that she didn't have a vaginal birth. And I don't know about Julie, I think, think she was happy, but I think I'm the only one left in the entire universe that had vaginal births. Every single yeah. friend that I have I had, had a C-section. Yeah. Well, from what the doctor's office said, um, is that once I had a C-section, being I had one with Stevie, um, that to have natural childbirth would be high risk and yeah, not a high risk that. office. Mm -hmm. um, and then they explained why after having a C-section, um, having the natural childbirth because you can literally open at the seam and that's absolutely terrifying. Michael horrifying. tore me apart. Don't you remember? I had what they called a fourth degree episiotomy. Yeah. Completely, like, completely tore me apart. So. That's what you get from vaginal birth. Right, right. So I, I'll. Thanks, Michael. My, my girl down there is still intact, apparently, <laughs> and will continue to be even after my second Actually, be, in, be even more intact. They're called daddy stitches. Yeah. Well, I won't have to worry about getting those. I'm just going to get another C section. But get them like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> get them anyway. <laughs> what if you ask the doctor, can you jump in there while you're delivering this baby and give me some daddy stitches? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm learning as I go along, you know, but I'm also 37, and so um, I get a few extra uh, ultrasounds, I guess, being um, I'm over 35 and there are certain health risks involved. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't feel like I'm 37. Definitely you know, don't act like it. I <laughs> don't act like it. <laughs> You know, and, and so late to have babies. Well, these these women, you know, I hear about these women in their 40s and... Better than 19. Yeah, I guess. Maybe not physically, but maybe, you know, emotionally For the baby. and psychologically. 